What's going on YouTube? Justin here, back at it again with another video. Today, I'm going to be covering all of my 2024 fishing gear um, for this season. I have already gotten it all out and casted them out a couple times. I've already caught a largemouth bass, just a small one. It wasn't big, but it was a bass. Fishing isn't about catching, it's about going out, having fun, and relaxing for me personally. But I will be needing to purchase some more lures and uh, bait over the, throughout the season. But for right now, we're going to set all of my rods to the side and I will be discussing the baits that I have. So for the crank baits and whatnot, these do not have a lip, but I have four of them. And I have these spoons here. I have a spoon like that, the little treble hook, three hooks. These are just two size two firm hooks. EG, I think the EGT or EWT, whatever they are, worm hooks for um, my Gary. My Gary Cinco's, Yamamato, or however you call them. I prefer these or Strike King. These have a little tail on it. And they're in the um, green pumpkin colorway, watermelon, watermelon green pumpkin colorway. Always go with those usually, green pumpkin or watermelon colorway. I find those are best for the springtime and the summertime. And then I have this yum basket that I've always found that if I put a bunch of salt on their Cinco's and whatnot, and all of their lizards, these little things, I will always catch something. I mean, you can catch a bass on anything, really. So, I tend to use those. And then, I only have one of these left. This one is still used. But, I believe these are from Strike King. I can't remember. But, these are some soft frogs. Kind of like a Cinco, but they are frog um i do not have any top water this season i probably won't be using top water i'm not a big fan of top water but every um worm hook i use for a bass a bass hook i usually put a eighth ounce worm weight on there if i'm going in a pond or if i'm going let's say to a little river like potomac for example or um you know, Rappahannock, Shenandoah, or whatnot, where I'm at in Northern Virginia. The uh, these hooks, little. I think these are size a bit smaller than a two, but they have a weight already on there, and you just tie them up with a polymer knot or whatever. Throw a little uh, little rig on there, and you're good to go. Um, I also have half. Um, they're not half. What's it called? Where are they? size one worm hooks here for um you know the smaller fish to get the bait if i want to use a, a bait fish and then uh these are for like bluegill or baby catfish even potentially um those are great i've had these in here for a while um though i haven't used them often got some zoom super salt plus red shads i'll take them out of here and uh show you guys see here it's got a little tail on there great action in the water i've caught a couple bass on them and um a couple years ago i didn't go fishing much um the uh past couple of seasons i was going through some patches in life and you know ended up not being able to go fishing but i have some time in me now to where i'm not too concerned about those things and they are solved and i can continue to fish so since those things are solved i'm going to be going hopefully a lot more this season and be making a lot of videos on this gopro we'll be doing some pov fishing for you guys maybe that'll be something that some of you are interested in 
If not, oh well, I'm going to try and make them sometimes. Potentially, we'll see. But I have this Eagle Claw um, little packed up, packable, retractable rod for the fishing days where I'm just having them in my backpack. This element bag here for my fishing bag. And I'll, I see a fishing spot. I don't have my other rods with me. And... I don't know. I just, I think it's a great rod to have on me just in case if I, you know, I'm walking through some, you know, brush or whatever too. And I don't really want to carry a big rod. Um, that always, this one always comes in handy for the smaller fish. I don't catch very big fish anyway. Most of the time they're just really small catfish or uh, bass. Obviously the bluegill too. And then, uh, for my bait casters, I have two. So this bait caster is a loose custom XP speed stick. They come in many sizes, as in the rods come in different lengths and um, you know the action. This one is medium heavy action with a seven foot rod here. So this is a seven foot rod, and then it has the uh, you know obviously I put. Um, 12 pound um braided line on here and moss green i found that the moss green helps a lot especially in um, murky water that helps you a lot more than plain uh white fluorocarbon or monofilament i also have a abu garcia bait caster here also a seven foot rod but this one is medium action which is nice so this one is a little bit more flimsy so i have a little bit more of a, a you know a little bit more bend here for when i want to jig it kind of helps me personally nothing really crazy or special i also have 12 pound braided line and moss green and then for my other normal basic everyone has seen fishing rod this is a loose speed stick laser tx5 i believe it says tx5 or txs i don't know whatever it is i got this one down in mooresville north carolina when i went on a trip to just go down to the skate parks and forgot my fishing rod and gear wanted to check out some ponds that they didn't actually really have there they didn't have as many as i thought but I went fishing there, got kicked out a couple spots, never caught anything, it's whatever. It was fun though, and I got a rod out of it. Um, thanks to my dad, I was low on money when I was out there, and he said I could get one, so thank you, Dad. And then, um, but yeah, no, I like this one. I've been using this one more than my bait casters. Um, I haven't actually used the bait caster yet this season. But I pulled them out and everything and got them set up as you see. Um, one of them needed the line put back on. And then this one has been ready ever since uh, last year. But that's it for my fishing gear and today's video. I hope y'all are enjoying the content so far. I'm going to be making a lot more of this upcoming spring and summer. And without further ado, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.